Hello there beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on another video. In today's video, we are doing a really effective, whew, really effective 10 minute leg workout to help you to build muscle in the legs, to shape and tone them, it's gonna be great. I will be transforming into a neat little voiceover to tell you how to do this because technique matters that's why i make these voiceovers i genuinely think they're key so as much as you're looking at the screen also be listening for pointers on how to do these moves well because it is the technique that's going to get you the results that you want if you like videos like this then give them a thumbs up as it helps me to know to make more of them and subscribe for more videos feel free to share this channel with a friend i upload loads of videos and check out the description box for my workout programs because your girl has got you 2021 we're not messing around. Okay, without further ado, let's get into the workout. <laughs> oh, hey, voiceover Saz, stepping in to take over. We're starting off with the curtsy lunge to squat. So curtsy lunge, squat, curtsy lunge on the other side. Are you ready? Are you steady? It's a good one. It's a good one. Please excuse the dancing, by the way. I was listening to other music, so I might be a little out of, out of beat and go. <laughs> So, weight through the heels, chest up. Starting off with a squat, cross one leg behind the other, activating the glutes, lower down, pick it back up, back to squat, other side. When you're doing this, I want you to really control it. So if you feel like you're all over the place and about to fall over, slow it down. There is no rush. We're all about the good technique. The technique we want here is that the weight is through the heels of the front foot um, the hips go back for the squat and you come down nice and low in the lunge keeping the core tight great job next up we've got the wide leg pulse squat so literally what it says on the can legs wide apart just a bit wider than shoulder width um, feet turned out we're pulsing for a few and then we're picking it all the way up ready and go. Now with this movement, you can totally add a resistance band or a dumbbell. However, you can increase how much you're firing by just thinking about it. Intentionally squeeze the glutes, okay? So when you're down, I want you squeezing. As you come up, I really want you to intentionally squeeze the glutes and bring the hips up and through. That is what they're there for. So we're not being passive, we're not just standing up. We're mind to muscle connection, squeezing and bring it up. I really want you to have a nice tight core, Wait for the heels, should be able to wiggle the toes. As you lower it down, you pulse, squeeze to come up. Awesome job, well done. Then we're getting down on all fours for some hip thrusts. Supporting the weight of the body with the arms, pivoting on the heels, we're bringing those hips up and through. So you might have done these before at the gym or using a bench, you can do them as well on the floor and go. So looking straight ahead, I want you to bring the hips up, feet are turned out a little bit, and the aim is to get into like a reverse tabletop position so as though your body is in a straight line from shoulder to hip to knee now that's really difficult um, but you, that's how much you're squeezing the glutes you're really bringing them all the way up and i feel the hamstrings as well also feel a bit of the shoulders as you support um, feel the shoulders working as you're supporting the weight of the body but we're squeezing intentionally on the hamstrings and the glutes Brilliant job. Next up, we've got the downward dog calf raise. So we are gonna work the lower legs a little here. However, we will also be working the glutes with that lifted leg. You will feel it. I can assure thee. <laughs> Ready? Get on it. So starting in the downward dog position, lifting up one leg and pointing the tiptoe of the planted leg to pulse up twice, raising the weight of the whole body. Now, we are doubling up and working the hamstrings and the glutes and the shoulders. So when that leg comes up, I really want you to try and get it as high up as you can by squeezing the glutes again, extending that leg up and behind, controlling the movement, really pushing with the toes, pressing, working those calves, Fabulous job. 
Then we're doing some up downs with a low squat. So we're really working the quads here. <laughs> it's almost like I dance as though I'm not literally filming. Like Sarah, why? Why you do this? Okay, ready and go. So starting in a kneeling position, we come up, we do a low squat, we get back down. Aim of this movement is, I do not want your hips coming up any higher when you're squatting than they are when you're kneeling. So we're really working here, trying to stay low, keep your balance, weight through the heels. How low you can go depends on the mobility at your ankle joints. So if you find it's really hard um, to come down into a low squat, that's fine, just stay up a bit higher, but work on increasing that uh, range within the ankle joint, okay? So chest up, weight through the heels, alternating which leg you come up with each time smash it then we're back to the top so work through it again with the curtsy lunge to squat and go so weight through the heels as you cross that leg behind you, I want you to make sure it's with control. So I want you to stay balanced. Um, and when I say stay balanced, I mean that I want your chest facing forwards, the knee of the leg in front also facing forwards. And then you lower down slowly so that back knee, the knee on the back leg is just hovering above the ground. Okay, you're doing really well, keep going. And chill, well done. Wide leg pulse squat is up next. So we're dropping it down, nice and low, pulsing. Squeezing the glutes to come up. Feet turned out. And go. So hips go back, chest is up. You can wiggle the toes. And that whole wiggle the toes thing, it's just to make sure um, that you're not falling forward. So you don't want your knees coming in front of your feet when you bend. Um, you want to imagine there's a chair behind you and you're actually just doing a weird wide leg <laughs> sit back in order to take up as much space as possible. I really like the lights, you guys. We're about to take them down because Christmas has ended. Watching this video, I'm low-key like, that's a vibe. Okay, I'm rest, sorry, you didn't, you didn't need to know that. Hip thrust is next. But like, if you have an opinion on whether we should keep the lights up, just let me know, because right now, it looks magical. And I'm very pleased about that. Ready? And go. Thrusting up, squeezing the glutes. Feet turned out a bit, really squeeze at the top. You might hold it there for a couple of seconds. Looking straight ahead. So not looking up at the se seasons of the ceiling, we're looking straight ahead. Squeezing intentionally, mind to muscle connection. Keep going, you can do it. Great job. Next up, we've got the downward dog calf raise. So alternating legs, pushing up to the ceiling. You ready? and go so we're getting a really powerful push we're trying to lift up off the floor really working the calves here that back leg is extending as far as we can so we're squeezing the glutes bringing it up as far as we can trying to make it so that the body's almost in a straight line with that extended leg keeping the integrity of the downward dog as much as we can so I don't want you bending at the shoulder joint. I still want your chest pressed towards, towards your thighs, towards the floor. Breathing as we go. 
great job now it's the last move so give it your all the up down low squat so starting kneeling coming up doing a low squat going back down ready go so stepping up going back down alternating which leg you come up with each time so if the right leg comes up then the right leg um then you swap and do the left leg the next time oh look at the cat she distracted me i'm so sorry keep going staying nice and low chest up weight through the heels getting as many reps as you can keeping good posture Bringing that squat nice and low, making sure that your hips are back and trying not to let your knees fall in front of your toes. Amazing, you did it, well done. Absolutely smashed it. Have a little dance party, if you will. Um, you can also do a few stretches now just to shake it off. So doing some lunges um, to stretch out the, car, uh, the, the quads and then reversing it to stretch out the calves and the hamstrings. Thank you so much for working out with me. Let me know how you found it in the comments. And if you wanna join me for my new eight week program, then simply click the link in the description box. I will see you very soon. Love you so much, bye. <laughs>